Let's talk a bit more about vaccines. I know a lot of you are waiting for your turn. And here is some good news from the White House. President Joe Biden says every American who wants a vaccine should be able to get one in just a few months. I think it'll be this spring. I think we'll be able to do that this spring. And uh, but it's going to be a logistical uh, challenge that exceeds anything we've ever tried in this country. But I think we can do that. That's not what we're hearing from local health leaders. So let's focus on Montgomery County, Maryland. The health officer, Dr. Travis Gale, says at the current pace, it will take two years, two years to vaccinate everybody who lives there. And that's not going to work. And that's not all either. The appointment system is causing a ton of confusion. Adam Longo talked to one woman who showed up to her vaccine appointment only to get rejected and turned away. We're five weeks away from March 1st when Maryland Governor Larry Hogan wants schools back open. Far exceeds any potential risk. Stephanie Jones is a support specialist at Tacoma Park Middle School in Montgomery County. She's in charge of purchasing, buying things like the social distance decals that are that we have to now put out in the building. So you're getting the school ready to have getting, kids come back. Mm hmm. Stephanie wants her COVID-19 vaccination. She had an appointment, showed up today to get one. She asked me for my work ID, my work verification. I showed her my school ID and she's like, oh, we're not doing educators. You have to go back. All right, let's look at the difference between these two websites, one here for the state of Maryland and one for Montgomery County. Now, Maryland says right now it is vaccinating priority group 1C, which includes teachers and staff. Now, Montgomery County isn't. It just started vaccinating people in priority group 1B. That's people 75 years and older. We as a county haven't moved to the point where we are providing vaccines as part of the county apparatus to educators and teachers. I'm just so frustrated. Like, I don't understand. Like, the governor is saying we have to go back March 1st or else. We will be announcing in the very near future, however, a strategy that will work to include teachers and provide them access to the vaccine. Governor Hogan plans to address vaccine distribution at a Tuesday press conference in Annapolis. Adam Longo, WUSA 9. I know there's so much information coming at you about this vaccine. We're going to make it easy for you, though. If you text the word vaccine to 202-895-5599, we'll send links to our coverage right to